Hello guys and welcome to a special episode. <laughs> okay, right, this is another episode of what you can play on an Android phone and uh, today we are doing Master of Orion. That's right, it's Master of Orion, the original game, not number two, not number three. Oh, number three, goodness sake. There was no number three. <laughs> so another Microprose game. Microprose were very good back in the day, pumping out them games that were good. <laughs> so yeah, Master of Orion. Um, one thing that, that, that I would like to note, first of all, is that the game itself works really, really well, particularly on my game, uh, on my Android phone. Um, the only thing that I would say about this is that um, there is a little bit of frame rate skip on the sort of animations, and you might be able to notice that there's a little bit of frame rate skip, but that doesn't matter too much, because overall it works really, really well. Um, and as you, as you can see, um, it's well, it pretty much is like you were running it on the computer. That's well, it was almost like what XCOM was working like. But when you get to the actual game itself, you'll find that it. Well, you'll see when we get to that stage that it that the game runs just beautifully. Um, well, <laughs> at least it ran beautifully when I was doing all my tests to make it work. Um, we'll have to see how it works on this video. But uh, yeah. So this is the introduction. Designer Stephen Barcia. Yeah, we don't really care about that. Uh, John Johanneginemann. Yeah, right. So this is it. Master of Orion. Oh, oh! I just cleaned my screen, <laughs> so it's 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 uh, not all greasy, lubricated with my finger grease. Nice. So a new game. Um, yeah. Press OK. Brilliant. See how smooth and lovely this works. It really does really work very well. The difficulty that I've got is that I'm trying to do it with one hand and obviously I'm recording with a camera in the other hand. Uh, so let's select our race. Uh, I like the lizard men. Where are they at? Sauros or something like that. Aha, there they are. Is that lizard men or is that bug men? Looks like lizard men. Well, they're green anyway, so we need to pick a suitable flag. Come on, where's the... Is there a green flag? Yes. Yeah, there it is. Right. Brilliant. We'll have that. And we'll uh, we'll name our us. Uh, we'll just keep it as the name that we we had, and we'll name our world just the standard world name, just because this is a demonstration. It's, we're not going to really get into the whole game. We're not really going to play it very much. I'm just going to show you the game being played by me. <laughs> anyway, uh, when it eventually loads. It doesn't normally take this long, actually. I wonder if it's just because it's got other things in the background. Aha, see, we got... Right, this is a brand new game. Oh, man, we've got all these things. Right, we don't really want any of them. Go away, please. Which is the cancel button? Oh, I don't know. Aha, it went away. Great. Now go away again. Yep. Nearly there. Uh, no, maybe I should move this... Press these... No, is that not working? Typically, this <laughs> I don't have as much trouble as this. Um, come on, there we go. Right, it's gone. Brilliant. Oh, I just have to do it. Right, right, right. Okay. So this is Masters of Orion, as uh, you may may recognise the game, and uh, it works. I mean, like I said, really, really well. I mean, at the moment, it doesn't look like it's working brilliantly, mostly because, I, like I said, I clean my screen and my fingers sort of it's sort of sticking to the. Uh, to the thingy, to the screen, which is not nice. One planet, <laughs> which you can expect, obviously, at the start of the game. And these are our ships, as as always in Masters of Orion. Your civilization has expanded to the level where it can have three spaceships, a, two scout ships and a colony ship. So let's send these two scout ships over to the nearest star, which I think is that one there, which is a small little red star. There we go. Off they go. Planet fleet deployment, brilliant. There we go, sending it off. Our first world is called Terran, of all things. Nope, we don't want that. Go away. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, so I want to also show you uh, a saved game. Just to show, uh, the purpose of me showing you the ship, the shaped game, the shaved game, no. <laughs> saved game. The purpose of me showing you the saved game is that. Uh, Oh crap, I pressed escape by accident. 
So the problem with uh, using a, a DOS box is that sometimes you can accidentally press the little uh, over screen sort of buttons if you're not careful. Uh, the purpose I want to show you the, the loaded, the saved game or loading up with the saved game is um, because the. Uh, can we select it? Oh, yeah, we have to press OK. I have to select it, then press OK. Um, it's because the game uh, can be played really well on an Android phone, and I wanted to show you the game being played, uh, and that had been played on an Android phone. So there, look, right? See, there's like a whole world. Let's show you the planets that we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven or eight. <laughs> and we've races and we've encountered. I don't. I can't remember how many races were in this game. I don't know if it was two or three. It's not like. Well, we met two. Right. That's good. It's not like Masters of Orion three. There's no Masters of Orion three. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway. So that w this is Masters of Orion uh, on an Android phone. So I hope you've enjoyed this particular episode. I have myself enjoyed it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I appreciate your audience. Goodbye. <laughs>